In the icy grips of February 1893, a horrifying ordeal befell Mamor, a white woman within the sanctuary of her own home. Rendered unconscious, she endured a violation at the hands of assailants, both black men. Presented with suspects for identification, she initially dismisses them, only to later single out Alfred Blunt as the perpetrator. However, her certainty wavers, casting doubt on her accusation. Despite this uncertainty, a neighbor's testimony, claiming to have seen Blunt near the scene, seals his fate. Blunt is swiftly arrested, but justice is denied as a trial never takes place. Instead, a furious mob breaches the jail, dragging him out to the Walnut Street Bridge in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where he faces brutal and fatal violence. In the aftermath, Attorney General Brown endeavors to seek justice, but his efforts are thwarted by a local judge's refusal to convene a grand jury. The perpetrators of Blunt's tragic demise evade punishment to this day, leaving behind a legacy of injustice and unresolved sorrow.